What's up, everyone? Dave here from DraftDashboard.com, bringing you my MLB picks for today, Sunday, October 20th. These picks apply for both DraftKings and FanDuel. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more fantasy sports insights. All right, first off, let's dive into the pitcher position. Today, I've got my eyes on Sean Manea of the New York Mets, taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now let's break it down. Sean Manea is facing a formidable batting team with an opponent rank of seven, which will be quite the challenge. His recent form has been decent, scoring 22 and 26 fantasy points two and three games ago, respectively. However, Mania's pitching advantage is at minus 400%, which isn't ideal. He throws his best to lefty batters, boasting a strong .572 OPS, but he's up against three lefties and five righties tonight. He's given up a .295 batting average to the Dodgers over 122 pitches. For Manea, it's going to be a test, especially facing a team he has a history with. Now on to the catchers, and I'm really keen on Will Smith from the Los Angeles Dodgers. He's got a 26% pitching advantage against Sean Manea. Smith brings an impressive career OPS of 1.082 versus Manea, hitting .500, which includes nine hits from 18 at-bats. Despite being questionable, when he's on the field, he's a prime threat, especially after his explosive three-homer game. Keep an eye on his status before game time, but if he plays, he's a solid pick. Over at first base, Max Muncy could be a risky bet. Facing Manea, with whom he has a .167 batting average, doesn't exactly inspire confidence. Nevertheless, Max Muncy did belt a homer off Manea in the past. His OPS of 1.042 versus Manaya shows potential, but the matchup tonight may not favor him much. If you're feeling adventurous, Max is an intriguing but high-risk proposition. Switching gears to second base, consider Chris Taylor. He's up against Manea with a notable 26% pitching advantage. Taylor has four hits and 17 at-bats, which includes a home run. At a salary-friendly $2,600, he's a budget option with some upside given his past performances. Third base brings us Mark Vientos from the Mets. Despite being up against the Dodgers' solid opposition, Vientos had a fantastic performance two games ago with 17 fantasy points. If you're seeking variance, he could be an interesting choice to consider. Shortstop players might want to look into Tommy Edmond. He provides a mixed bag, limited encounters with Manea, but managed a home run from his soul at bat. His modest price tag and recent form make him a reasonable group placeholder. Outfield, however, is where things become compelling with Shohei Otani at the forefront. His numbers speak for themselves with 54 home runs this season and a batting average of .310. While he hasn't gone yard against Mania, his OPS versus right pitchers of over 1.1 is hard to ignore. Rumor has it some are contemplating altering his batting order, but with such stellar form, he remains a force to be reckoned with. If you want value outside the stars, I'd suggest Enrique Hernandez from the Dodgers as a low-cost outfield option. While his .091 average against Mania is bleak, he maintains consistent performance lately, scoring eight fantasy points in two consecutive games. Could he surprise us? Who knows, but for the price tag, it's tempting. And if you're on the lookout for a bargain catcher, Bo Naylor from Cleveland might hit your radar. Batting against the Yankees, he's had decent showings as of late. Perhaps he could sneak in a few points if you're looking to spend elsewhere. That's it for today's MLB slate. Don't forget to check the link in the description if you want to try out all these fantasy tools for yourself at draftdashboard.com. Enjoy the games, and let's hope we pick some winners. If you liked the video, hit that like button, comment with your favorite pick for this slate, and subscribe for more. Thanks for tuning in and good luck tonight.